Technology rich projects are an incredible way to help students demonstrate their understanding and to help them share the things that are really important to them. Well, Caldor Art Projects and the New South Wales Department of Education ignited the creativity by inviting submissions from schools across New South Wales to reimagine a public space within their local community. So we are actually the first public art organisation in the world and this year we celebrate our 50th anniversary but also we have this um, pilot program which we've launched in partnership with the Arts Unit Department of Education working with students and teachers in creating their own site-specific innovative artworks responsive to whatever medium really speaks to them has been you know, such a beautiful process. So how did local art get transformed into a virtual reality world? Marylands High School took their amazing creations and developed an app which houses these works and takes the viewer on an immersive VR experience. I thought the distance from the schools were incredible because we had Wilcannia which is far away from Sydney, 11 hours. The difference in artworks and the different messages that the different towns portrayed. I thought that was really interesting and in how they incorporated that. There's no limit to who can access those students' artworks and explore them and experience what it's like to live in Wilcanny or experience what the situation is on the Darling River. Like to be able to share that through an app that then tells that story blows your mind a little bit. And then to add to that the idea of Year 9 students coming up with all that was phenomenal. We're very proud to host the Your Public Art Project here at the gallery today. We're very much about um, sensory learning at the gallery. For example, the virtual reality that we can see here today has really been able to place us into a space that is taking us away from where we are today and into where those students were working and creating the art at their schools. This was just a great opportunity because in the beginning it was difficult, we were working with just a small simple 3D game to move a ball around. Then we were able to move up to this, this great project and the constant improvement in the level of skill that you gain from the subject and from technology itself. It's, it's really it's very easy to be able to see your, you gradually getting better and better. We would all get together and we would build on different teams and different aspects of the VR app and we had to discover how to interchange worlds and how to make it easy for people to use. And actually finding that um, things that we thought would be really difficult actually weren't that difficult. So even the, the final step of publishing to the store, and we thought that would be a really complex process, um, because of the tool set we were using, um, it was actually a really, really simple process. To actually see students come together and deliver a project of this calibre um, is hugely exciting. Now this is why we teach. To be honest, I want to see what they're doing next. I think this VR project is definitely something that our team should be proud of and something that we have accomplished that's so different from other schools considering that this is the first VR app that we have launched. So being able to hear things and see things, and being able to manoeuvre in different ways, in your own way, is a fantastic addition to the way teachers learn uh, with their kids about art. 